All right, you have to have the GIB tools package, which you put in C slash tools, as in this window. And in binary, you want to launch the GIB to Far Cry 2 archive viewer.exe. And I put this guy, turn off, save, only known files, and then click on the folder icon and open we'll go worlds.fat and then click on the lightning triangle to save these and we'll save them to C drive we'll create a new folder called worlds and select that, click OK, and now it's going to take a while to uh, open up the world's file and um, we'll continue once it's done. Alright, continuing on, so you've extracted worlds.fat and you have a folder now called C worlds and this has the contents of that archive so now we would want to for example find a graphic to edit and there's millions of him of them in here I'm going to go into um, graphics objects signs kit factions posters and I will copy drag graffiti APR DXBT. Rename this to DDS. Then drag that onto your hex editor. I'm using Hex Workshop. And then select the header up to and not including where it says DDS. Note that this is a DXT5 file. Cut out that section that you've selected. Save the file. Now you will have had to install a Photoshop DDS plugin. Here in my Photoshop plugins file formats folder, you can see that I have a plugin called DDS.8. BI. So you would have to have that installed and you can download that. Um, you can do a Google search for DDS plugins for Photoshop. So drag your renamed DDS file on Photoshop. It'll ask uh, whether you want to do it 8 bits, 16 bits, etc., or whether you want to load MIPS maps. I just go with loading using default sizes for doing these posters. So here is um, a file that I had already obviously edited. I'll do a quick edit on it. Save it. I'm going to save it as DXT5 because that's what I saw in the uh, file originally. So now you take the file which you've just edited, the EDS file, and you put it back on Hex Workshop and you insert the cursor before DDS and you paste back in the sequence that you had edited out and save it. Now rename the DDS file to XBT. And create a folder that replicates the path in worlds where you found this. So we had this in worlds, graphics, objects, signs, kit, factions, posters. 
so you'd have to replicate uh, something like that. So here's a folder called graphics. And then drag your poster, edited poster file into that. So now we want to uh, stick this thing back in the game. So we run the archive viewer again. And this time we want to open patch fat in data win 32. And I'm going to save it to a folder in the C drive which I'll call patch. So here is the contents of the patch archive that we've just extracted to see patch. And here is the folder where we have our DDS nested in a series of folders. And we want our new file to go into an identical location in patch fat. So I already had one called graphics. And objects. I'd created these earlier. Science kit, science kit, factions, factions, posters, posters. If it's the first time you've edited a poster file then you would have to create this series of nested folders in your patch extraction on the right here. So this drags in here. You see I already have an earlier version of it and I'm going to overwrite that but you normally won't have an earlier version. Alright, so I've created a batch file to do the next step, um, but I'll show you how it's done manually. You go to start run type cmd, which is command. That brings up a command screen. Okay, so you type cd space c colon backslash tools backslash bin hit enter now we're going to run the command line that uh, runs the program that will compress patch fat the patch fat extraction back into a patch fat folder okay type gibd far cry 2 build archive exe patch fat patch.fat space c colon backslash patch and it makes the dealio for you so what that does is back in uh, tools slash bin it creates a new patch dat and a patch fat these were just created when I ran that command and these are what you replace your previous patch dat and fat with in order to see the new graphic and anyone will have to have these files in order to see the edited version of the graphic so the file you just made is in tools bin patch fat and dat and those are going to go into data win 32 you can see there's a patch fat and a patch dat already in there you would back those up uh, you can you know create you can rename them and put back up on the name or whatever you want to do to back those up. You can drag them to your desktop. And then you take the ones you just made and you put them